Okay, so today we'll be talking about rideshare apps and more specifically, we'll be talking about Uber. So what are rideshare apps? So rideshare apps are services on your phone that arrange rides to a location on a short notice. So it could bring you from point A to point B. So some advantages of rideshare apps, they're easy to use, free, and rides are very affordable. So comparing to taxis using um, uh, the apps such as Uber, it is much cheaper. And also an app like Uber, um, they also have services that help people carry things, deliver food or groceries. You're also able to select how many seats that you'd want and you'll be able to see the exact cost of your trip before booking. Additionally, you could also add stops to be able to drop off at multiple locations during your ride. So some disadvantages of the rideshare apps. So drivers can have difficulty tracking where you are at times. So depending on your location and um, your driver might have difficulty trying to pinpoint exactly where you are. And another disadvantage is a possibility of security concerns. So going into the wrong car perhaps can be an example. And it could be more expensive than public transportation. So although it is cheaper than taxis, it is more expensive than public transportation. And another disadvantage, it is not always reliable. So some issues that could occur is Wi-Fi connection and not um, completely uh, confirming your ride. So what is Uber? So this is an application that lets you hire a private driver to take you from point A to B. So this app was founded on March 2009 by Travis Kalanick and Garrett Camp. So how do you create an Uber account? So there are two ways. So the first way is you could go through your app store. So either through app store or play store, and then you could download the Uber app. So this app is actually free to download. And then this is just the Google Play and App Store. And then you could just download the app and it looks like this over here. It's just a black uh, square that says Uber. So then you could just install that for free or you could go on the website at uber.com to access from a computer. So if you're on a phone to open the app, you just open the app, then press get started. If you're on a computer, you just press Rider. So now once you do all this, you have to enter some personal details. So you just have to do your phone number, name, address, and payment details, et cetera. So once you complete all of these steps, you're now able to book your ride. So how do you book an Uber? So on the left side is um, showing you how the screen will pop up when you get the app. So on the first line where it says Library Square Public House, so this is where you're located and you'd like to get picked up. And then over here at the bottom where it says where to, this is the location that you'd like to get dropped off. If you look over here to the right, I'll be able to show you once you enter all that information, the type of car you'd like and also the price points. And then once you're done all of that, you just click confirm so it's at the bottom and then you'll be able to get your ride. So once you're done all of that, so how do you catch your Uber? So you can track the Uber to see the driver's name, the type and color of the vehicle, and, and how far away it is and how long it'll take to arrive. So over here, this is an example. At the bottom of the phone, it will show the name. So his name's John. And then it says the type of car, their license plate, and also the, how the picture of the car looks like if you're not sure how it looks. And also if you'd like to contact the driver, you're able to call them and they'll be able to call you if you're unable to find each other. The app will also let you know when the driver is arriving. So over here at the top, it says that the driver is arriving now. So how do you cancel an Uber if you'd like to cancel after you made it? So if you want to cancel the ride before you've matched with the driver, you can do it without being charged. 
However, if you've been matched with a driver already and you'd like to cancel, all you have to do is tap at the bar at the bottom of the screen, showing your driver's information, then tap cancel trip, which can be shown over here. However, you may be charged a cancellation fee since you've already been matched. And also your driver may cancel on you if you do not arrive at the pickup point within a few minutes. So you wanna make sure that you're always at the pickup location before the driver's there or else you may be charged with a cancellation fee. However, you will not be charged a cancellation fee if the driver is taking too long to arrive. So after your ride, um, the things that you could do, so the app will automatically charge the credit card that you have on file. And then, so the calculation is based on the base rate, rates for estimated time and distance of the route, and the current demand for rides in the area and any additional charges such as tolls. So you could also rate the driver after out of five stars. So depending on how the driver is, you could rate him out of five stars and then you could write in any information that happened that was good or bad. Also, tipping is voluntary, but is also encouraged. So some questions people may have about Uber safety. So something that you could do to make sure that you are safe is to have the driver confirm your name when they arrive. And also on the app, it shows their license plate and type of car. So you wanna make sure before you enter the car to double check with the license plate that it matches up. Another additional thing that you can do is you can share the details of the ride with a friend. So they can track your journey during the ride. So if you're feeling unsure or unsafe about using this new app, you could easily share the details to the other people and your family. So they'll be able to track where you are. Also, do not hesitate to call emergency services if the driver is doing something dangerous. The app has a panic button that will let you immediately call 911, and you could also report a driver using the app. If the driver also asks for extra cash, you do not need to give them any. Since you're playing online, that you don't need to give them any additional cash, and you could tip them through the app. So some things that you have to be aware of since of COVID-19. So all drivers and passengers must wear masks during the ride. The driver may or may not have a plastic barrier in between the driver and the back seat. So ride at your discretion and your own risk. A tip is to always sanitize your hands every ride once you come in and come out of the car. To learn more information about the protocols that they have and policies, you could go at uber.com slash gb slash en slash coronavirus. Okay, so right now I'm gonna do a, a Uber app live demo. Just one minute. Okay, so when you download it, it'll show up like this on the screen. So right over here, it gives you an option for ride and food. So food is one of the options and services that Uber provides that we also mentioned. So Sorry, here, I interrupt, Courtney, could you maximize yeah. your screen? Um, is that better? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you have food and rides over here. So at the top left, the three lines over here, you could just click, you could just click this and then it'll pop up the screen. So over here, it just shows you your name and then your past trips, wallet, help, send a gift and settings. So if you go to settings, you'll be able to see some safety features that they have. So one of the safety features that I talked about is to share your trip. So over here is called Manage Trusted Contacts. So over here, you'll be able to share your trip with your family, friends. And then also another safety tip is you could also verify your ride. So over here, you could create a pin and then before the ride, you could just e ask 
the Uber driver, and then they'll be able to verify the PIN so you know that you're in the right vehicle. And there's also this feature called Ride Check. So Ride Check is um, something in the app. So if you're driving and the car stops unexpectedly, it will ask you if everything's okay for both you and the driver, and both of you could just write okay, or if anything's happening, you could easily call for help through the app. So now what you need to do is just press the X at the top left and it'll bring you back to the regular screen. So since you want to do a ride, you want to pick ride and it'll bring you up to the screen. So as I demonstrated before, at the top is where you'd like to get picked up and the bottom is where you'd like to get dropped off. So I'm just going to write a random location right now. So that's where I am right now. And then also, if you'd like to do additional stops on the way, as I explained, this plus button right over here will allow you to do up to two stop drops. And then it, you could only do three minutes max at those locations. So if you want to stop by the dollar store, and then you'd like to go to your ending location. So once you're done over there, so you start at this location, you like to stop at dollar store, and then you like to drop off at this location. So once you're done all of that, you just click over here, the done button. And I'll be able to show you all of the information over here. So it shows you the route that they're going to take. And then over here, it just shows you the type of vehicles. So if you just scroll down a bit, it'll explain the type of vehicle. So Uber X, so it's up to three people. And it says it's affordable for everyday rides. And over here is just the price point. Over here is for comfort, and it's up to three people as well. And this is for newer cars with extra legroom. So it's just a bit more expensive. And then if you have about five more, about five people, you could get the Uber XL. So it's just for larger groups and the price point as well. So once you click whichever one you like, you'd click it and then you would confirm your Uber ride. And that's the live demo. <laughs>